back in the US this past January, I paid close attention to all the big and little differences in the home compared to the homes I've seen and lived in here in Germany. And I found quite a few actually. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. Home is where the food is, so let's start in the kitchen. Way back when I first met Mr. German Man, one of the first things I noticed about the kitchen in his apartment was, huh? You don't have a refrigerator? There was no refrigerator, or at least it didn't look like there was one, just cabinets. What? Of course I have a refrigerator, he said opening one of the things that I had thought was a cabinet to reveal that it was in fact a hidden refrigerator. I had never seen that before. A fridge camouflaged as a closet with a door that really looked exactly the same as all the other closet doors in the kitchen. In the US, the refrigerators are usually these huge standalone things and you can definitely tell where it is in the room without having to ask. Since living here in Germany for a few years now, I've seen both kinds. So some people do have those standalone refrigerators and then other people have the one that I saw in Mr. German Man's apartment. So where it does look the same as the rest of the cabinets and kind of blends into the rest of the room. And something that actually is missing from any of the German homes I've been into, the garbage disposal. Oh, how I miss the wonderful, magical garbage disposal. Garbage disposals are under the sink and they tear the food into small enough bits so that it can go through the plumbing. So no worry about that gunk building up in the sink drain stopper. Oh, it's so gross. It just all goes down the hole. And then while running the water, you just flip the switch and everything gets disposed of. Oh, yeah. I really miss those. Now let's mosey on into the bathroom where the first difference I noticed was the counter or lack thereof really. So in most homes that I've seen in the US, the bathroom comes with a counter that goes over the sink and then extends out past it. It's certainly not always as pretty or nice as this one in my rental apartments in college. It was not pretty at all, but it was still there for me to put my stuff on. And then underneath there are little closets where you can put your blow dryer or cleaning supplies. Whereas in Germany, I don't think I've ever seen this kind of thing built into a bathroom. The sink does often have a little bit of room on it, but not that much. But I do really like the toilet paper holders that I've had here in my apartments in Germany. Simple, functional, and just really nice looking. The common ones in the US are kind of tricky. There's like this spring thing that you gotta pull back to get the roll on there. And then it doesn't have that pretty little cover like the one that I have in Germany does. Now let's get super personal and take a peek into the shower. Shower faucets and handles will differ from place to place, but I've seen this one quite a lot in the US. So you turn the knob to whatever temperature you want and first the water comes out of the faucet and then you pull this little thing up on the faucet and the water comes out of the shower head. Pretty similar in Germany, but I've often seen the handle and the faucet connected, so as one piece, and I often see the line for the shower head coming from the bottom of the faucet, whereas in the US, it's often all hidden behind the scenes, so behind the wall, but that's just my experience. I'm guessing that it's different from apartment to apartment, house to house, place to place. All right, let's move on to a different kind of handle, the door handle. Yes, many homes in the US do have round doorknobs, and I think they're kind of known for having doorknobs rather than handles, but actually a lot of places that I've lived in the US do have handles, and this is a pretty common door handle design that I've seen in the US, kind of designy, whereas my German door handles are pretty modern and sleek. And something interesting, in both of my apartments in Germany, the doors came with keys and you can lock the doors from the outside. 
Very helpful if you are a wicked stepmother and need to lock your beautiful stepdaughter in her room while the prince stops by. But in the US, I guess we don't have to do that so often. And so often the doors can only lock from the inside, not the outside. As far as doors to the outside go, something I see almost everywhere in the US is the deadbolt lock. So you have a sort of normal lock on the actual handle of the door, and then you've got another lock called the deadbolt lock that slides this heavy metal bar into place. And something that I had to be very careful about in Germany is that if you close the front door, it often just automatically locks. So you have to insert your key to open the door. Whereas in the US, you generally have to manually lock the front door. So it's not locked just by shutting it. These two different ways both have some pros and some cons. Okay, in the US, you don't have to worry about forgetting your keys and getting locked out of your own home. If you shut the door and then you realize, oh, no keys you just open it back up again. But in Germany, at least you can't ever forget to lock your door because once you shut it, it's locked. But then you better not forget your keys inside. Now, look up. What do you see in your home in Germany? Maybe a light? If you look up in many rooms in the US, you will often see a ceiling fan, usually also a light in the middle. So that's another difference. Having a ceiling fan to circulate the air. I don't think that I've ever seen a ceiling fan in any home in Germany, now that I think about it. And while we're on air, in the US, forced hot air is a common way to heat the home, whereas radiators are the norm in Germany. Homes in the US often have these little vents in every room, and in the winter, hot air comes out, and in the summer, it's cold air from the air conditioner. So the vents actually are used for both heating and cooling in the US. Now, let's just take a quick crawl over to the door and check out the door stoppers. So in a lot of places that I've lived in the US, behind most of the doors was a door stopper built in there. And I can remember playing with these things as a kid. They make this really funny noise, especially to a seven-year-old, but yeah, it's still amusing to me as an adult. And lastly, let's look at the light switches. So in the US, this is a pretty common light switch. You flick it up and down to turn on and off the light. In Germany, I've noticed that light switches are often bigger and you don't really flick, but rather push them on and off. But the biggest difference that I've noticed with this is that in Germany, sometimes the light switches for the bathroom will actually be outside of the room. So not inside the bathroom itself, but actually on the outside wall of the bathroom. And I feel like this is a big deal because it could cause a lot of drama if you grew up with brothers and sisters. I can just imagine it. Like, you know, you're sitting in there in the bathroom doing your thing and your funny little sister runs by, ah, ha, ha, turns the light off while you're in there. So my question for you is, did your siblings ever turn the bathroom light off while you were in there? And what other home differences have you seen around the world? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And also for more behind the scenes photos and other short videos, you can check me out over here on my Twitter and my Facebook page. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen. When I was back in the US this past January, I played the, <laughs> I'm already stuttering. <laughs> it's a cabinet that has the, this makes no sense. Whereas in Germany, I don't think I've ever seen this kind of a setup where you have the, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this kind of thing built into the bathroom. The, <laughs> But I do really like the toilet paper. You pull this little thing up and the faucet and the, huh?